So do I still recommend the SwitchBot after using it for 365 days and more? Well, the short answer is yes. And why is that the case? Well, this is a tech gadget that I literally use every day and it has really improved my life. It has added a lot of convenience and let me explain why. So first of all, I live in a tiny condo apartment that faces west. So there is a lot of sunlight that constantly comes in and it gets really hot in the day. So I like to have the curtains on or open as much as I possibly can. And that's only before 3 p.m. After that, it gets way too hot. So I have to close the curtains and use the blackout curtains to actually kind of keep the AC down and not get too cooked up in this in here. I am constantly opening and closing the curtains. Another thing where I have to constantly open and close the curtains is filming or just working in general. I just hate the glare of the bright sunlight bouncing off the walls and hitting my screen. Or if I'm filming, I just don't like the changing sunlight because clouds can come in and stuff like that. So being able to manipulate or control my curtains through my voice has been a huge game changer. And I know it sounds like maybe this is not worth it, right? Maybe you can just go out, pick up the curtains, close them up yourself. But after you've controlled your curtains with your voice, it's really hard to go back to the more archaic way of closing your curtains. So let me be a little bit more serious. Now, yes, it is very easy to go there and change the curtains yourself. Obviously you can close them and, and, what, and whatnot, but for those who have accessibility problems or it's just very hard to reach the curtains or it's maybe it's blocked by something, this something like this would become very handy. Now, where it becomes really, really handy or very, very useful is when you're in the bed and you're trying to wake up or you're trying to go to sleep. Now, what's the best way to wake up? Well, in my experience, it's natural sunlight, the natural daylight. So if you're very groggy in the morning and you need that stimulus from the sunlight, I think having curtains that automatically open are scheduled or you can just control it with your voice is gonna really change your life. So one of the best things you can do with this is pair it with your Google Assistant. And what's even better is that you can use routines. And every time I wake up, I say this good morning routine where it turns on all the lights, sets it to a you know daylight temperature, but most importantly, it opens the curtains. And that that to me is what gets me out of the bed the easiest. Now let's say I'm really tired and you know I just wanna pass out and go into my bed. I can say, you know, good night to the Google Assistant and it'll close all the curtains, it'll turn off all the lights, and that's just another nice added bonus. I don't have to go out and close the curtains and stuff like that. So I get my sleep as, as I really wanted. So I have another problem where this can be very, very handy, and it's all about how it works in terms of schedules. So I have this other room where during the night, I wanna keep the blinds open. So because I want you know the fresh air to come in, it's nice and dark, so I'm not distracted. But in the morning, I want the curtains to be closed. I want you know, no sunlight to come in only onto the moment where I'm, in, where I'm gonna wake up. You don't want that sunlight actually entering your bedroom while you're sleeping because it really disturbs your sleep. So what you can take advantage of this home smart automation is advanced scheduling. So what, what, what do I mean by that? Well, what you want is the curtains to be open from let's say the time you go to sleep and then you want them to close maybe around 5 a.m. when the sun starts coming up and it becomes less more bright in the room. So you have them close at 5 a.m. And then right until 9.59 a.m., the time where you want to actually wake up, the curtains reopen again. So having this kind of like intranight schedule where the curtains dynamically close and open based on the current sunlight or the time, that to me is a very useful feature. And that's where it's actually very practical. So not only is this just an added convenience bonus to your life of not having to go out and open your curtains, it's also nice to use your voice, but it's also more more important to be able to schedule this so that it works with your current sleep schedule and, and the circadian rhythm and how the sunlight comes into your room. I want to answer a couple of questions. Do you need to buy these solar panels so that you get that infinite battery life? Or is it just or is it just better to use the inbuilt battery and charge it every once in a while? So I've had two, two pairs, two sets of these SwitchBot curtains. Uh, one of them was connected to the solar panel and the other one was just running on its own battery. And I have to be honest with you, I don't think that the solar panels are all that necessary. Yes, it's a major conveni convenience to not have to ever charge it because it's basically infinite battery life. It has worked wonderfully. I've never ever had to charge one set in my living room. The other set in the bedroom using the, the version one, I found that the battery life did last about eight months or six months. I didn't have to charge it very often and I barely remember to ever charge it. So the battery life is excellent. I've been using it every day and I'm very impressed with it. And I'll give you a really, really cool pro tip. What you can do is that you can live, leave the USB-C cable connected to this all the time. And it's gonna be hidden behind a curtain. So you're never gonna see it, it's not an eyesore. And what's really cool is that you can just simply plug it in using this power bank. And this makes it very easy to plug both of them in. There's two USB-A connections. And this was like $20 off Amazon, really cheap. 
and that charges the, the the actual switchback curtains. So it becomes a very, very easy way to like, oh, I'm low on battery. Okay, let me just plug these two cords in and that's it. It's very simple. So do you need the solar panel? Well, I mean, if you want that added convenience, it does, it's pretty sweet. I do like it. But honestly, if you're trying to save a little bit of money, just running these off the battery and just charging them every once in a while, not inconvenient at all, really, really good. So recently, SwitchBot has released the version two of the SwitchBot curtain. So what are the differences between V1 and V2? Should you just buy the V2 or maybe save a little bit of money and get the V1? Well, I have to say right off the bat, the V1s have been excellent. So version one has been working flawlessly all this time. So I really had no reason to upgrade. You comparing them side by side, I noticed that they they have these bigger wheels so that it rolls more easily on, on the actual rod. The actual roller, so where the motor is, is a little bit bigger. The most important thing is that the V2 installation process was a lot better than the V1. This was super simple to install, as you can see in this video, just clamp it on. And I found that this one was a little bit more tricky to install because it was two pieces. Now that's not really a big deal because the installation process is a once in, once in a lifetime thing, unless you move very often. I think this is a nice iterative upgrade and I do find that it runs a little bit quieter, a little bit faster. The motor seems a little bit stronger. Both version one and version two have a protective ultraviolet material to prevent a white switch bot from turning yellow from prolonged exposure to the sun. And that's what I noticed with my white switch bot. Another big difference I noticed with the version two of the switch bot curtains was that they included a patch kit to help smooth out any bumps in a telescoping rod. If you've seen my previous video, I had this problem with my telescoping rod, but I was able to solve it pretty inexpensively by using a cheap rod cover or use some slippery tape. So it wasn't really an issue for me, but I do really appreciate SwitchBot paying attention to their customer feedback and providing a more official solution. So in conclusion, V1 has been working great. I don't think it's necessary to upgrade to V2. The solar panel is a very nice added convenience, but the battery life is quite amazing with the V1. So I've had no issues with it. It's been working flawlessly uh, for you know a year. It's been doing really, really well. The added convenience of having the Google routines and having to be able to wake up to natural daylight without having to get out of my bed, which is the hardest thing in the world. Being able to tell Google, hey, open up my curtains or just you know turn on that routine and turn on all my lights and blast everything really gets me out of the bed. And that to me is the biggest value proposition of having these curtains. Not, not just the added minor convenience of not having to open the curtains and close it by yourself. It's really just, let's say you pass out or you wanna wake up, you have Google Assistant to help you with that. So the key takeaway is uh, getting this is gonna be probably the best alarm clock you've ever had. And it's definitely gonna be worth it if you are more productive and more happy in your life by waking up to natural daylight. I think that's the most natural way to wake up. And also keeping your sleep nice and dark so that you're not perturbed during your sleep. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any questions about V1 or V2, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be very happy to answer. I'll leave links in the description for both of these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.